So please welcome to the stage Ron Hart. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, you. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. I don't know if you heard about it, but the queen died. Yeah, yeah tragic thing. Um, she, was, she was always a rival with Lady Diana, and she died at 76. But not to be outdone, Lady Diana died at 105. <laughs> so... Too, early, too soon, I guess, on that one. Um, Keith Richards heard about her death, the Rolling Stones. Uh, Keith Richards heard about her death and said, look, you really need to take better care of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Biden went to the funeral, which was nice. Um, they asked him how, he, how Biden, how he would remember the queen. He said, like I do everybody else, someone will pin a note to my coat. And, <laughs> yeah. He was late to the funeral. There, you know, there were lords and, and there were a lot of people there. There were more earls there than a tractor pull in South Georgia. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Prince Charles becomes, uh, you know, he takes the queen's place. Uh, so a guy takes the queen's place. This woke stuff's gone too far, people. I'm just telling you, this is too much. Um, the, uh, the way he got there, of course, is uh, Prince Charles got to the throne by two weddings and a funeral. There's going to be a movie about that. <laughs> and I personally have, have, have grown a little tired of all the royalty and all the titles and everything like that. I, I guess I lost interest in titles when they, they knighted Sir, Sir, Lance, Sir mix a lot That's when, <laughs> when he went down. So, um, But Biden was gracious. He represented our country well. He told the, uh, remember the queen, he said, look, I love... I love the Queen, and I love, but my favorite song was Bohemian Rhapsody. So that was, <laughs> he helped us a lot there. So, uh, got divorced, went through divorce, got divorced recently. And um, so um, she said I had a God complex, which I don't know. I mean, maybe. Uh, I'm not that religious, really. Every now and then at Chipotle, when the manager's not looking, I can turn water into Diet C Coke. <laughs> But beyond that, not so much. <laughs> to kind of console myself, I was going to take a Viking cruise. But uh, it turns out you cannot, you know, rob monasteries and rape people. So I didn't do that. <laughs> you read the details. So um, crimes bad in Atlanta. I actually got robbed here <laughs> one time. Actually, in the parking lot here. One of my three robberies before I left. Um, but I'm back in town today. It's not bad. I mean, I, I came up with a uh, slogan for Atlanta. Come for the strip clubs. Stay to fill out the police reports. <laughs> so, the mayor's thinking about it. I got a deal um, today, actually, on, a, on an 80-inch TV. It felt like a pretty good deal. 100 bucks. Got it home. It was a Popeye's drive through menu thing. <laughs> but still a good deal, really. They should have like a deal at, in Atlanta. I'll pitch this show to Jeff and, uh, and Mark. They should have a show in Atlanta, Survivor Atlanta. It's where the contestants take an Apple bag from the Apple store and try to get their car at Lenox. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the Santa sent all these uh, immigrants, 50 immigrants up to Martha's Vineyard Kind of a political stunt, but, it, you know, it's very poignant, I thought, maybe. Yeah, 50 people up there. And uh, they, they got them off the island. They fed them a sandwich and got them off the island pretty quick. No one's gotten off. No, no Democrats have not getting, gotten a person off of Martha's Vineyard that quick since Ted Kennedy's secretary. <laughs> so. I live in Chattanooga now, so Tennessee beats Alabama. So, you, you know, Tennessee's all excited about that. Um, you know, these, 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 you know, it's unbelievable. Uh, the Bama fans are very upset. Uh, they haven't been that upset since they moved Sudafed behind the counter at Walmart. <laughs> so. <laughs> and uh, I do like Atlanta, actually. Um, we, we took a tour of this uh, True Cathy Studios down here. They did the Marvel, the Marvel movies down south of Atlanta. That was pretty, pretty cool. They have a, a gay, and it's about time, they have a gay Marvel superhero now. 
They really do. Uh, his superpower is his ability to, to accessorize. So. <laughs> That'll be coming pretty soon. The, uh, but, and they have a lot of AI, uh, CMG, what do they call that thing? Where they, they do the movies down there, CMG and stuff like that. They say I, uh, artificial intelligence will take over at some point in this world. So the machines will rise up and take over, you know, man, or, you know, rise up against us. I just hope I'm not near a dildo factory when that happens. <laughs> All right, that's my time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Neil. Welcome to the next person, Neil Supak. Supak. <laughs>